Today, we are going to take you on a tour inside the Mexican cartels that has never been done before, with a particular emphasis on the lethal fentanyl smuggling operations that they run. Prepare to be shocked, because we are about to reveal the truth about the cause of this worldwide epidemic. Number 1. The Rise of Fentanyl Fentanyl Increase is Concerning Fentanyl, a strong synthetic opioid used for pain management, is an important illicit substance. This dangerous and addictive drug is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Fentanyl's potency and profitability soared. Its potency makes it cheaper and easier to create and distribute than other opioids. Profit-maximizing drug dealers prefer it. Illicit fentanyl increases its availability. Illicit Chinese labs make and smuggle it. Because it's mixed with other narcotics or pressed into counterfeit tablets, users don't know its potency or composition. Overdosing and other hazards increase with ignorance. Fentanyl has devastating effects. Fentanyl overdoses have surged worldwide. It overwhelms healthcare and emergency services. Law enforcement struggles to identify and stop the illicit fentanyl supply chain. Multifaceted fentanyl prevention is needed. Fentanyl education, addiction treatment, harm reduction, drug monitoring, and targeting criminal production and trafficking networks. Fentanyl requires global cooperation. Complex and worrisome fentanyls rise. The drug market is changing and communities, healthcare institutions, and law enforcement encounter difficulties. Preventing further harm to people and society needs prompt action. Number 2. Manufacturing in Illicit Labs Illicit labs produce illegal drugs and counterfeit items. Illicit labs usually make methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, or MDMA ecstasy. To escape law enforcement, these labs are located in rural places, abandoned buildings, or underground facilities. Illicit lab manufacturing endangers public health and safety. These labs' production procedures can cause explosions, fires, and toxic chemical discharges, endangering personnel and the community. Poor quality control and chemical handling also lead to unsafe products. Illicit labs also make counterfeit luxury goods, technology, and medications. Counterfeit goods harm customers' health and legitimate businesses and economies. Incorrect or hazardous chemicals and counterfeit medications can harm users. To stop the production of trafficking of illegal drugs and counterfeit goods, law enforcement authorities worldwide are identifying and dismantling illicit labs. Drug enforcement, customs, and intelligence agencies work together to acquire intelligence, raid, and arrest. Illegal lab manufacture is a dangerous crime. These activities involve improved intelligence sharing, stricter law enforcement, and public awareness efforts to reduce demand for illegal drugs and counterfeit items. Number 3. The Smuggling Routes Mexican cartels are smuggling fentanyl. The alarming spike in drug-related deaths, especially in North America, is due to fentanyl. Mexican gangs have created major fentanyl smuggling routes into the U.S. and other countries. These routes are well-organized and entail a complex network of people and infrastructure. Fentanyl is smuggled by cartels through their drug trafficking networks. Fentanyl smugglers use secret car compartments. Cartels modify cars, lorries, and tractor trailers to hide fentanyl. These compartments are commonly in the seats, floorboards, or other portions of the car, making it hard for law authorities to find drugs during normal inspections. Cartels use decoy vehicles or numerous vehicles for smaller fentanyl shipments to avoid discovery. These methods reduce seizure risk and boost drug smuggling success. Mexican cartels also smuggle fentanyl using tunnels. Mexico-US tunnels are mostly underground. They help cartels transport massive amounts of fentanyl without detection. Law police on both sides of the border struggle to find and demolish these tunnels. Mexican cartels profit from fentanyl's potency and demand. Fentanyl manufacture is cheap, making it profitable for cartels. Drug manufacture, arms trafficking, and human smuggling often use fentanyl smuggling revenues. Fentanyl smuggling involves cooperation between Mexican and US law enforcement intelligence sharing, border security improvements, and targeting money networks supporting these operations are needed. Fentanyl smuggling and Mexican cartel smuggling routes are difficult to stop. Number 4. Corrupting the System Fentanyl smuggling makes Mexican cartels more hazardous. Fentanyl's potency and profitability benefit these criminal groups. These cartels rig the system to smuggle. Mexican cartels bribe and coerce police. These gangs can pay a lot to transport fentanyl across borders. By infiltrating police, they evade arrest. Fentanyl is supplied by cartels and corrupt politicians. Cartels also smuggle fentanyl across borders. Trucks, tunnels, and drones hide fentanyl. 
The cartel's complex activities require law enforcement knowledge and strategy. The cartels blend fentanyl with legal goods from supply channels. Bribes, frauds, and corruption hide their packages in shipping and logistics networks. Fentanyl shipments masquerading as lawful goods evade law enforcement. The cartels intimidate and eliminate threats. Fentanyl smugglers are kidnapped and killed. Such brutality frightens those who may cooperate with law enforcement or expose the cartel, enhancing its systemic dominance. Mexican cartels' fentanyl smuggling affects many. Fentanyl overdoses kill many globally. This lethal opioid is flooded by cartels, causing addiction and destruction. Law enforcement corruption and system vulnerabilities make dismantling these criminal networks harder. Fentanyl smuggling requires several solutions. Border security, international cooperation to destroy cartel networks, and comprehensive drug prevention and addiction treatment programs are needed. Addressing law enforcement corruption will break cartel official ties. Mexican cartels must cease fentanyl shipments. Number five, the cost to humanity. The catastrophic effects of fentanyl extend well beyond the illegal profits it generates. Every year, an overdose claims the lives of thousands of people, leaving behind bereaved families and communities that have been irreparably damaged. When we hear the experiences of individuals who have been impacted, it serves as a powerful reminder of the critical need to find a solution to this situation as soon as possible. Number six, international cooperation. In order to effectively combat the smuggling of fentanyl, international cooperation is required. In order to successfully disrupt the operations of the cartels and dismantle their networks, international collaboration, the sharing of intelligence, and targeted actions are vital components. We investigate the ongoing efforts being made to address this worldwide issue. The future outlook? Despite the bleakness of the situation, there is still room for hope. Together, scientists, medical professionals, and law enforcement organizations are collaborating to find solutions to the problem. The fight against this lethal substance is making headway in many different areas, including the enhancement of treatment programs for addiction and the development of technologies that can detect fentanyl more efficiently. The severity of this situation was brought to light by our investigation into the fentanyl trafficking operations of Mexican gangs. The gains that these criminal organizations are able to reap come at an unthinkable cost to the lives of a multitude of people. As a culture, we have an obligation to confront this epidemic head-on by addressing the underlying issues, providing assistance to individuals who are afflicted, and working for a future that is liberated from the shackles of fentanyl. We have the power to put an end to this dangerous trade if we work together. Thanks for watching our video. See you in the next video.